welcome back to another video on can you make money with maze plus and animals and this is the follow-up on lambs that i spoke about because i was really curious about this so process the data and uh let's jump into powerpoint and see what i found out so what have we done today uh, i've used the same method and the data that i collected from the can you make money from sheep video so um keeping sheep for um i can't remember how many months i kept them basically until the food input till all the inputs and outputs stabilized and then keeping track of the value to uh, collect data on what the food cost is what the value of the wool produced is and what the value of the animal is and this time we're focused on when is the best time to sell the lambs that you produce so more around and i think this is more you know certainly from the feedback on the comments this is more of what i guess real world sheep lamb farming is about you make your money from selling the lambs uh, and what we're going to consider here which is slightly different to the last time is the value of the lamb the cost of the food that they eat and any wool that they produce because lambs do start producing wool instantly in fs so um there is that it, that's slightly different to what i did in the last video where i didn't worry about the value of the animal it was just about the cost of the food that they or the value of the animal once you'd brought the initial one it was just about the amount of the cost of the food versus the wool produced not counting the value of the lamb now the important thing with sheep is that every month up until um 36 months old the lambs are gaining 25 pounds in value a month um, so that's kind of cool so the longer you keep them the more they're worth to sell but you have to feed them for longer so let's have a look at some of the data so what we've got here is the gray line is the straight value of the lamb so say going from 100 pounds at birth up to a thousand pounds at 36 months old the orange line is the base game so that considers um at a fixed month if you sold the animal how much money would you make having spent money on feed and selling the wool that was produced at the best price um, and then the blue line is the same for with maize plus enabled and i have used the uh buying the food from the store as the uh the input cost for this so at zero months old you could just sell either of them make 100 pounds profit job done um as you then go on with uh with base game because the food excuse me because the food consumed is quite low every month you're making more money because the lamb gains value the lamb is producing wool and it's not eating very much so with base game the longer you keep it the more you're going to make um obviously as i said these numbers are slightly higher than the previous graph because it's considering at a point if you sold the lamb so um, let's pick for example at um at about 16 months if you sold your lamb at about 16 months you would make a thousand pounds profit so you would make um 500 pounds from selling the animal and you would have made 500 pounds profit from the wool produced versus the cost of food um with maize plus because the food consumption gets higher before the wool production gets higher there's a peak at about three months old um, where you're making just over 100 pounds and then it dips down to i think it's about 80 pounds um just growing yeah 87 pounds so you uh you've basically you've spent a bit more on feed than you've got back on wool and the amount the animal gained quite a bit more on feed actually um, and that trend continues um so it's 10 months old where you hit that 87 ish pounds point um until the wool production starts to ramp up and uh, you'll see eventually the lines cross and um, so this point at 26 months is basically saying that the amount of food eaten is equivalent value to the amount of wool produced um yeah basically what this kind of shows me is almost at any any point is a good point to sell the lambs i figured it was going to be that you could keep them for a few months and then you were committed for quite a long time before you were going to make a good return um but you know i guess what point is the crossover point again um sorry i'm, I'm jumping back in to my spreadsheet which 
I should have the information in, but I don't. Um, 14. Yeah, so basically, um, if you're going to keep them for more than a few months, you want to keep them for at least 12 months. Um, that's when you're back above the hundred pounds profit so you're 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 making more profit than you would have made selling it early plus you're getting a lamb so you can then repeat the process i what what it tells me is either sell the lambs within the first few months or hold on to them for you know probably a year and a half get yourself a couple of lambs out of it and then sell them do i have another one i do have another one so this is looking at that that short term bit um, so as I said, you get a peak at about three months where you're at um, 130-ish pounds profit from your lambs. So, um, so I'm, I'm trying to get data out of the spreadsheet at the same time as talking to you. Um, so you're selling the lamb for 175 pounds, but you've put in a decent amount of food at that point, but you're still making 130 pounds profit on the lamb. So it's the, the sell value of the lamb minus the food cost and the little bit of wool they've produced. I said that then starts to dip off, um, but does pick back up at the sort of 12 month point. And here you would obviously get another lamb to repeat the process. So, you know, you could sell the lamb at this point. You'll have made, a, you know, 100 and, uh, 115 pounds profit out of it. Um, and you'll get another one so you can just repeat that and repeat and repeat and repeat um, obviously without maze plus you can make a lot more doing that um but yeah i say if i go back i think if, if you're just going to do this for producing lambs to sell i would sell them about the three month point personally that's probably what i'm going to do um because you'll run into an issue where you'll run out of capacity to keep your lambs to keep them long enough to get past that initial peak but if you are going to keep them, they become, you know, and, and if, if you're keeping them, but you're selling the animals as they get old, you're going to make a good return. Um, so if I jump ahead to some conclusions from this. So the short term, the value peaks at about three months old. The worst point to sell them is about nine months old. That's when you're making the least amount of money. Um, and then once you get out past 26 months, um, the the wool value counters the food cost and you're then really into kind of pure profit um, and you'll have got a couple of lambs out of it at that point as well so the bit that I haven't accounted for um, and it's the bit that I wanted to do that I mentioned in the Attingham video from yesterday but I uh, I got too interested in playing video games to uh, to sit and do the extra chunk of spreadsheet engineering is kind of the life cycle so you you buy your first cheap it produces a lamb at 12 months old um, and then you get a lamb and then, you know, you start selling lambs and stuff. And I think, I think you get into a cycle and it's probably making decent money. Um, so the, uh, one of the counters to how long you should keep them is if you've got, so like on Attingham, I have a fairly big pasture with grazing. So quite a lot of time I don't need to feed the sheep. Uh, obviously they're eating the grass that I could mow, but I don't consider that as an issue. So at that point, and it was a really good comment uh, on the last video. I'm oh, sorry, I've forgotten who commented it. Essentially, you could keep the lambs until the point where grazing stops and then sell them because your food input has essentially been zero value, um, depending on how you play. But you've gained, the, the lamb has gained value and you've got a little bit of wool out of it. Dog bell. Hopefully that has edited vaguely well. I think I was talking about grazing. So yeah, if you've got grazing enabled and you know you you don't usually plan to consider mowing that field and getting food value off it, sheep grazing is essentially them being fed for free, and you can then keep them until the point where grazing stops. Now, because with FS22 lambs are produced all year, that's going to be a bit variable as to how long you can keep them, but that's potentially the most profitable way of doing it. Um, different to seasons with FS19 where sheep produce lamb in spring, like in the real world. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. So, um, so with most plot, there's a peak at three months uh, and then you want to keep them for probably, if you don't tell them at three months, I would say to at least 12 months and you get your first lamb out of them before you sell them. Um, apart from if you've got grazing enabled and then uh, the three month bit goes away and 
either keep them for at least 12 months or until grazing stops feeding them for free and then sell them to maximize your return. So let's jump back in the game and uh, finish things off. So yeah, um, before we get any further, I just want to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you've got any comments or questions, stick them below. And if you're not, please subscribe and turn on notifications because that really helps out. And when we hit 5,000 subs, I will be giving something away. Don't know what yet, but anyway. So I was kind of surprised by that. Um, I did expect there would be a much more obvious peak of when you should sell the lambs early on. Um, but because um, they produce wool instantly and they're gaining quite a lot of value every day, that does counter the food cost. So, yeah. Um, obviously you remember that those numbers that were in those graphs included you selling the lamb at a point um, so rather than a line they're really discrete dots but the lines look better so yeah um, if you want to kind of see the ongoing income look back at the other video because that's really what that had because it didn't consider selling your lambs but yeah um, particularly if you've got grazing it appears there isn't really a bad point to sell lambs if you're not running grazing, you either want to hit that peak at three months or wait until about 12 months when you're back um, and you're, the wool the wool producers offset the feed cost. So you're really making a good return on the animal. And that's pretty much it, I think, for this one. So, yeah. Next is going to be pigs, I think. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, and enjoy your Christmas break because that's when this was recorded. If you're watching this in the future and it's not Christmas, enjoy your day because you might watch it in the future. See you next time. There was a point that I missed. In fact, there were two points because I just realized that I was recording all of that without the game sound on because I hadn't switched OBS scenes. Um, but the second point is there was a bit that I mentioned that I didn't do. Um, I like playing video games. I got stuck in playing video games this morning instead of playing in Excel. Um, it's, it's the life cycle bit. So you buy your first sheep or lamb at, you know, zero months old or um, six months old. And you it, it grows, it produces a first lamb. You sell that lamb and it's what that line looks like. Um, I'm probably not going to do that, but I think I'm pretty confident that with, with Maze Plus still, as long as you're selling your lambs at a point where you're making good return, so that three month point or with grazing the point where grazing stops or at least 12 months um so again you get another lamb out of them and things start to get you know kind of a spiral going on i think you're going to make good money from sheep um yeah that, that was the bit that i forgot um so thanks for watching everyone